Hey guys, welcome to another video from the Parrot Bros. Now today is a monumental day. We have over 125 cars here at Ockham Bites, the most we've ever had at a breakfast meet. This isn't a car show, this is just a breakfast meet um, arranged between myself, Chris and Andy Charger. We've also got Rappi here. We've also got BWS TT here. I think because it did so well last time, because it's probably getting towards the winter, everyone's thinking this is their last show of the year. Um, they've all come along, but it is stacked out. I mean, if you look around here, we've got cars parking on the grass, double parking. It's a, it's a bit of a nightmare, if anything, but epic, absolutely epic. So before I go and have a look around, let's jump to that intro. Right, so let's have a bit of a walk around. Now, I will not be able to cover all cars, I do apologise, but there is a predator of different Mark 1s, Mark 2s and Mark 3s. I'm just going to cherry pick random ones. Um, we have Adam Sweetman's. Now, I've not seen this in real life before, so this is quite a cool one. He's spent, and um, we won't go into money, we'll say time, a lot and lots of time. And if you haven't seen it at a show, it is a spectacle. Um, it is gorgeous. It's got US rear bumper, the camber on the rear wheels is insane um full air build he's got one of the old seat delete bars he's got these mammoth wheels which are epic i mean the dish is just phenomenal inside um recaro pole positions carbon fiber absolutely everything just a real gorgeous well done car it's got us spec headlights if you notice it's got these which we don't have in the UK, fully smooth front bumper. So this is a bit different. This is a papaya. I don't know how well it's coming out on the camera, but it's actually got a really interesting front bumper. So it has a slightly different shape. It's got this molded splitter in the bottom and it's a, looks like character. It's got a slightly lower front stance. It's got these lovely diamond cut wheels, which I would not be allowed to use because I would 100% curb them. It's got a screw in valve, so you can't actually, it's got no valve, it's flush at the moment. Very cool, really low stance. It's not a car I've seen before. Quite a nice concave on the back as well. Out, yeah, really cool. Oh, it's got a rear, oh, it's got a whole kit. Look at this rear. Very cool, I've not seen this before. With these riveted on and this spoiler. Very unique, very different. Nice to see actually. It's nice when you see new things that I've not seen before. There's quite a few cars that we've definitely never seen before. Little things like this, this is an interesting one. Just a, a small vent along the bonnet to allow the heat to escape. Um, this one, now this car, this was here last time, but it's had a little battle scar. That's why his bonnet's up because it's silver now. Um, ben of the North made an appearance all the way from North Yorkshire along with a couple of other people. This is what I love about the car meets. People will travel miles and miles to get here. There is some absolutely beautiful cars, not all TTs, but there is 137 TTs at last count. I don't remember the wheels being that color last time I saw it. I'm pretty sure they were black and silver. So now it's all body colored and body wheels. What do you think to that? Um, this is Glenn's R32. Now this was, he got a TT as well, V6, with the green cage and the green seat belts. This thing is epic. It's got a red leather coated dash, full red R32 interior, and it's done in like a golf R whitey gray. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. We've got. I'm living with it. Sorry, let it me is. Your That's all right. We've got Ashley's uh, QS. This is the guy that's going to be detailing my V6 eventually when I let him, and we can work out a date between us because we're both extremely busy. We've got Bryn. Bryn is down south. He's down south. He's, he's coming the ring machine. If you haven't seen it, Bryn does ring. He's clearly washed, yeah, yeah. Good clean and um, Parrot Bros number one fan. Yeah, because I am. And then I thought. <laughs> but what has he done? Look. Oh yeah. Them that you get me. Yeah, yeah. Look, bonnet vent. That's at least twenty horsepower, at yeah. least. And all the stickers are five each. Go on, but, let's get, okay, let's go on, get Bryn in there. Comment values. I was wearing a red top deliberately. Was yeah. <laughs> You're only red top. <laughs> Give us a face. Oh. <laughs> but he's actually. What has he fitted? So he's fitted bucket seats last night. How do they feel? Really good. Snug. Yeah, really, yeah, really you tried really sitting nice. in the passenger seat? Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> you sit on top. Yeah. <laughs> Head doesn't clear the roof. It's ridiculous. Done a little bit of a strip, yeah. saved some weight. But hang on, right. So this is how you get out of bucket seats when you're fat. 
Hey. Ta-da! Didn't look silly at all. No, not at all, mate. Perfect. You looking forward to your trip to the wing? It should be good. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, like, after the drive this morning, I don't know how I'm feeling about the long distance part of getting there. Yeah, yeah. Because the suspension's great, but the seats are a little bit springy, and you're like... <laughs> the whole way. <laughs> jiggling. Yeah. You're jiggling. So, it's a bit... But yeah. Putting it around the, the ring itself, I'm really. Oh, yeah, 100%. It'd be brilliant. Really that. Absolutely brilliant. Suspension's come together nicely on it. And it's high. Yeah. Actually, as I pulled in here, I was like, feeling really smug. Yeah, I'm quite <laughs> glad about this. Yeah, yeah. Got an off roader. So, this has got the Bilstein B12 kit, which is I back springs on Bilstein shocks, which is the same as what I have on my noggy. And it does sit all right at the back, but at the front, it sits higher. Yeah, and that's and with the 10mm lower top mount as well. With the 10mm lower top mounts, it would have been even higher like mine. Yeah. Which is, it drives lovely though, doesn't it? It's yeah, just it horrific for, yeah. it's not very nice for looks. I'd need to change the springs if I wanted to go like stancy. Plus if you take all these stickers off, it's going to make it even higher. All the weight of, <laughs> weight of vinyl. Right, should we have a look around at the other stuff? <laughs> We're kind of done. It's kind of made it worthwhile for me coming though. Look, a Parrot Pro sticker, look, look. I fitted that because it used to be mine. Ha <laughs> Yeah. See you later, pal. That's what it looked like when we were um, cruising down because there's five of us in red, look wicked. What else have we got? I'll do some filming while I'm standing yeah, here. Let's, here's Roberto's again. Let's see what he's changed since the last time we saw it. Did it have the wings? I can't remember. So there's definitely some new cars we've not seen before. This is Jeff's low mileage. I'm definitely here before, but Jason Case's white one. Now, there's a few tricky bits about this. Apart from the fact that it's on Sportex, MTM wheels, very rare, very popular Audi wheels, white headlight inserts, but Technically, no front number plate. He's just put lettering on his uh, number plate delete blank thing. Um, very cool car. It actually has, not that you can see, but it has factory baseball, um, front and rear in black, which is super rare. It's got gigantic, gigantic exhaust tips. They've got to be four inch. I'm not going to put my fist in them because they look dirty, but. Definitely four inch, definitely on air. Very cool looking thing. I mean, you don't see white TTs anyway. Hi everyone, right, thanks for coming. Um, any other YouTubers? Come on. We good? Yeah. Right, I just want to say a big thank you on behalf of Chris, Andy, and everyone else who sort of come here and everyone who makes the time, makes the travel. I know there's some guys up here from Yorkshire, down from down south, and and wherever across, and because it's becoming quite a bit of a momentum event, I kind of wanted to do um, sort of momentum, like make a, an occasion of it and make a trophy. First and limited edition, because this is the only one so far. There will be some more in the future. Um, and it was just for a car of the meet. I mean, we all come here just to chat with each other and talk about TTs, and it's the whole reason my missus hasn't come, so I don't actually doesn't have to listen to it even more than already, as you can imagine. Um, now this trophy is not for the nicest car, it's not for the car with the most money spent on it. I literally just picked the car which I thought, after speaking to the owner, I've spoken to a lot of you and a lot of you messaged me about your builds and all that kind of stuff. And it's the one that I feel today is my favourite, it's had the most done to it, sort of the most love putting in it, the most hours. Um, and it's Kyle's, which is a 225 over there with the Porsche wheels. If you have a look, it's got 10 inch wide wheels on the rear. He's got baseball. He's um, redone the rear interior to match the baseball. It's got a double din. He's got carbon, everything. If you go and have a look, it's a fantastic, really nice sort of original looking OEM Plus, which I know quite a lot of you appreciate that kind of slightly modified look. Where is Kyle? Is he here? He's here somewhere because I know his car's still here. Should we all go and hover by his car? Should we all go and travel that way? <laughs> Yeah, you can show us what you like about it. Yeah, come on then. Let's go. Head that way. Where the f*** is he? He's a Pied Piper. I know. I see him as well. I walked past him and said, oh, we're heading this way. There he is. I was just trying to ring you. There you go. Thank you. This is Kyle. Everyone, this is everyone. I was just telling them about your car. Oh, thank you. I heard a good speech. Yeah, yeah. So this was the, I picked this as the car of the meet, just because I think 
if everyone has a look around, they'll appreciate yeah. what you've put into it. Because yeah, it looks, I mean, it looks, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Hey, everyone, thanks for coming, and we'll try and find a, a bigger venue next time, yeah? Now you've got to post topless with a car. Yeah, yeah. So here we have the car of the meet. Now, this was my personal favourite. Um, the guy's been building it for about a year, but the level of detail is unreal. Um, it's got 10 inch wide wheels, it's got staggered Porsche twists, which are, they just look amazing. It's sort of that similar lines to a Porsche. A lot of people compare TTs to Porsches. He's gone for the turbo badge, he's gone for carbon fiber, lip extension, very subtle, really clean bodywork. I mean, the guy has spent an absolute amount of time on it, just getting it absolutely perfect. It's got, I'm not a fan of these, but you don't see them very often and it does look quite cool, especially with everything being black. Interior, a lovely double ding conversion. He's gone for a Mark II or three steering wheel. It's got full baseball, including center console. He's dieted his rear seats to match. Got the armrest with a cup holder, which is rare, but a really beautiful one, liquid gauge. And of course the Parrot Bros trophy, first of many to come in the future, hopefully. And just a really tidy engine base, sort of an OEM plus program filled with a shield, loads of blue piping, just a really nice job, really clean. Definitely a level of uh, time and trying to get it just perfect. Even got the headlights with the Audi badges in them. Can't really see it very well. Very, very nice. Overall beautiful car. You off? Yeah. See you later. TTs everywhere. They're all starting to sort of peel out now. This is... Uh, Marmite Mike Gaming's car, he's been building this for about a year, year and a half, I think. Done quite a bit, he's got the Ventidosa wings, he's got the V6 front bumper, carbon headlights, lengthy side skirts, Votex side skirts maybe, TTRS spoiler, carbon lip, painted the inlay black, very weird. Doesn't always show up on the pictures, there you go. Um, carbon fibre rear splitter, it is a roadster. Inside, what we got in here? Double ding conversion, loads of suede, Alcantara, carbon, boost gauges, different clocks, uh, bezels, quite nice. They're like the early ones, aren't they? So that about wraps it up. Unfortunately, I didn't kind of get to do the video I would normally do, but it has been so busy with over 100 cars, we've kind of outgrown this and just trying to keep the peace and chat to everyone is a bit of a nightmare, but some absolutely beautiful cars, definitely cars we've never seen before. Um, everywhere you look, literally everywhere you look, there's a TT. This is Sean Cleggs. He bought this all the way down from North Yorkshire, I believe. Um, he's only driven it like 20 miles. It had an MOT a couple of days ago. Um, so fair play to him for making the journey. Black tips on the exhaust looks quite nice. Aftermarket exhaust. Dark sort of graphite grey wheels and a black car. Really nice touch that. Really nice touch. I just wanted to say thank you really to everyone who, um, who made the journey down. We're definitely going to try and arrange a different venue because this one unfortunately is a little bit too small now. Um, we had an amazing turnout. We're going to try and get somewhere bigger and better for the future. Um, but yeah, <laughs> what can I say? Mark 1 TTs. Woo! Until next time guys. Bye for now.